Hi, it's Josh here. I'm the pastor at Downey First Christian Church in Southern California. And I wanted to share with you something that I came across while reading about sharing your faith. This comes from a blog post that I saw from Cornerstone Church in Connecticut. Okay, so here it goes. Let's face it, when we invite people to church, the idea of it can be very nerve-wracking. There's a lot of inner dialogue that takes place. Uh, how do I bring it up in a conversation? What if I come across a person that finds that I'm being judgmental or they're judgmental? What if I get rejected? What if I make them uncomfortable? See, the tendency here is to ask a lot of what-if questions that focus on the negative side. But what if you reminded yourself of the potential instead? What if God has been preparing their heart and has been wanting for me to invite them? What if they say yes? What if they're hurting and, and they will finally be able to find some healing at church? What if they give their life to Christ and future generations are changed because of it? Keep those in mind, and we're going to use some of the tips here to help you in your conversations with people, and hopefully it will help you also over, overcome some of your fears, especially as uh, we're part of a, a culture that is not very Christian. So anyway, even if it seems like an impossible topic, you might enjoy this video that will help you uh, talk to other people about Jesus uh, with people who are maybe sharing even your faith. So how do I bring up the conversation? Approach number one. When you're not sure whether they attend church, lead with a simple question. I was wondering, do you go to church anywhere? If the answer is yes, then the follow-up conversation is easy. You say, that's great, so happy uh, to hear that you have a church home, what church do you attend, etc., etc. So this approach works because it celebrates the church uh, they're connected to and also shows them that you're not trying to recruit them to your church, okay? Now, if the answer is no, you can follow up with an invite. Well, if you're ever looking for a great place to go, I go, you can say, I go to Downey First Christian Church and I would love to see you there. So this language is simple, it's casual, and it's friendly in tone. It doesn't assume that you're looking for a church and uh, leaves the decision up to them. If they don't ask a follow-up question or engage further, then you'll want to leave the conversation at that. Now, if they ask a question or share a bit about their faith journey, then it's a good sign that they're open to hearing more. So take the opportunity to share more about your church, why you love it, how God's used it in your life. You can give them an invite card, etc., etc. All right, okay, that's approach number one. Now, approach number two, when you know someone doesn't attend church, try leading with a question. I'm curious. Did you ever go to church when you were growing up? So the key to this question is how you follow up. This question is an easy way to start a conversation, but the real value is learning more about a person's background with church, faith, and Christianity. There could be many reasons why someone doesn't currently attend church. They could have had a bad experience growing up. They could have been hurt by people. Maybe they've always wanted to, but never made it a priority. Whatever the reason, uh, you're trying to understand why. So don't be afraid to ask follow-up questions. Like, for example, uh, have you ever thought about attending a church or in whatever the case is, or a church again? Or, or you could also ask, if you don't mind me asking, how come you don't see yourself going to church? Or you could ask, if it's not too personal a question, what was the bad experience that you had? You see, the answers to these questions will help you tailor a more personal invite at the right time. Use what you learn and ask, uh, you can ask God for wisdom on how to best invite them to church. That could be during this conversation or another time. Is there something Downey First Christian Church, like in your church, for example, ours is Downey, is there something about your church that you like? Is there a specific message series that you can share that, that speaks to a situation that they're going through? Maybe you could even apologize on behalf of other Christians that have hurt them. Remember, you don't have to invite people to church the very first time you talk to them. That can be something you work toward. Uh, how to avoid making a, the person feel judged or uncomfortable. It's all in the approach. Notice the posture, the conversation starters that we just talked about. They're casual and friendly. They don't assume anything and don't force any type of answer. So 
Pay attention to the conversation and engage as much or as little as you feel the other person is comfortable with. So that's the key to inviting someone without the person feeling judged or uncomfortable. And don't forget to always invite with kindness. How you end the conversation, in fact, will be how they remember your invite. So be kind, be gracious, and understanding that no matter the response, you could still uh, have a good relationship. So anyway, what if I get rejected? You will, but don't let it discourage you. It's not the end of the world and it's not personal. Oh, also, and a no thanks won't negatively impact your life, but a yes could change someone's life forever. So press through any fears of rejection and keep inviting. You'll never get a yes if you never ask. So. That's that, but another common fear is getting a negative reaction. Now, in my experience, almost everyone will accept your invite generously, whether they're interested or not. As you invite people to church, you'll find most of your fears are not reality. Rejection isn't a, as bad as you think. People generally avoid confrontation. They're not going to be hateful toward you or make you feel judged or feel judged by you. So I would reframe everything and think about this. What if they say yes? What if they experience authentic community and love for the first time? What if the church renews their faith and hope in Christ? What if they find their identity in Christ and walk in greater confidence? I truly believe God wants to use you. And often it's through a simple invite. If we do our part, God does his part. We just have to plant the seed. So here's the challenge. Take the step, invite your friends and family to our Christmas services on Sunday, December 22nd. You will be glad you did. Have a great day.